What up gamers, welcome back to another video. I know I said I was going to be posting at least semi-frequently, but I'm not. So here we are. I was going to make a video the other day about the recent news on Save the World. That never happened. I, I might speak about it one day, but for now, in this video, we're going to be going over the Metal Team Leader, which you can get right now for 20 USD or about 16 pounds, 16 euros as well. Um... Yeah, it comes with the Metal Team Leader, the Popper Bear schematic, challenges for up to a thousand V-Bucks, and the actual skin and battling itself. In this video, we're going to be going over how she performs and the build that I run with it. If you do end up liking this video, please like and subscribe. It's appreciated. And let's just get into it. So, her perk is... Bear with me. We've seen this a lot, this perk. It's on like three, maybe four heroes now. If you've got a classic Teddy reskin hero, it's probably got Bear With Me. You had the uh, Jess Santa Claus who had the same perk. I forget there's an AC with this perk. It's a very common perk, so I'm going to work around it and show the best possible build for this type of hero. What makes this hero different from every other hero with Bear With Me though is the Teddy has an exclusive skin, which you'll see in game. It's it's pretty cool. So this is the build that I actually run with it. We've got Metal Team Leader as the commander, of course. For our team perk, we've got Happy Holidays, which I haven't toggled details. Reduces your abilities cooldowns by 40%. This is so that we can get more Teddies out as soon as possible, basically. For our support team, we've got Better Stare. Teddy fires lasers from his eyes every two seconds, doing 23 base energy damage. And that energy damage leads into our next perk, Space Technology. Increases ability energy damage by 15.5%. So that's going to be like, what, uh, two, two, three, three extra energy damage base? So above 25 base energy damage on the burst, uh, Overbearing increases Teddy range by two tiles. Enemies take more damage from Teddy based on distance, up to 40% at max range. Berserker increases Teddy damage by 30%. And under warranty, Teddy has a 100% crit chance against new targets and has a 5% chance to malfunction. During malfunction, Teddy finds a new target after every shot. This is pretty cool, and I forget what her name is. Uh. Jilly Teacup herself is one of the better Teddy heroes in the game. Having her in any Teddy build is almost necessary just for the 100% crit against new enemies. It's really good. And then for our gadgets, we have the Hover Turret and Adrenaline Rush. Let's get into game. And for those concerned, I will be doing a Popper Bear gun review soon. Maybe. Don't quote me. Let's get into the game. Oh yeah, this clip is going to be actually after the video because I've got to put it in, but this is the smash test for the Teddy. Let's just get in here. Okay. It's spamming 8k damage. We got a crit with the burst there, 23k. Uh, it's honestly not doing that much. Oh. Yeah, no, this isn't, this isn't great. Uh, we'll carry on with the rest of the video after this clip. I've just got to show it because I completely forgot to do it in the video itself. And it's it's, it's not doing a whole lot. Eh? Through one Teddy, we got about half his health. So it's going to take about two Teddies to actually finish it. Uh, let's get on with the video. Okay, we're in. And I'm not sure about you guys, but ever since the update, I've had a lot of frame issues on Save the World. Um... This is actually really bad. Uh, uh, also, I'm in Victoria, I've got the drum roll and Nocturno because they tried to bribe us with um, Safe Lords Dead Lol. It's kind of worked for me, I'm not going to lie. It's kind of weird that I can craft my own Nocturnals. Uh, yeah, let's just hop in here and we'll throw a teddy down when it's they all respawn. Off it goes. Look, exclusive skin. Wow, this is so cool. You should, you guys should buy this. I'm about to fucking die because this is not the best teddy build in the world. Oh. Uh, but it's going ham. It's doing about 22k per shot. That's with a crit. A standard hit is about 10k. And it does fire pretty fast. But you are going to be hitting the 22k's quite often just because of the 100% crit chance from Jilly Teacup. Wow, these frames. Oh god, this is awful. This has been happening ever since you've done it. And I've been playing a lot, like I've already finished the uh, the yard 2 quest line. 
got drunk to rigs, he's kind of shit. Wow, I can't even like look at my tether because it's just not doing enough work to kill them all. Okay, so you can see the bear spare, the energy damage it's occasionally doing, which is also around 20k damage. Which isn't a whole... Oh no, that was a 52k, but that was a crit. 52k energy damage from the bear spare while critting. I think it's 20 while not critting. Oh god, that's a bit weird. I, I do really like the Nocturne, I'm not gonna lie. This, this is supposed to be a, a melting leader video. I, I really like the Nocturne. <laughs> okay, well. Let's get the rest on this guy. Overall, the Teddy is. Epic. The Teddy isn't as effective as other Teddy builds in mind. You could easily go with the classic GFC Cup Teddy build, which I did on my channel a long time ago. It's one of the better teddy builds in the game. This is a very average one. Because, of course, the focus on this teddy build is the duration. It has a 12%, not 12%, 12 second extra duration. And that doesn't mean a whole lot when you're not doing a bunch of damage. And when your main perk isn't focusing on damage, you know, what's the duration about? It, it's not going to be a higher DPS, if anything, it's going to be a lower DPS because of the amount of time you're going to be using it for. It, it It's very average. But I, I guess the main attraction to this pack is the skin. As this is available for BR players as well. They get to buy the game if they buy the pack as well. Um, yeah, I, 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 get, I get the point, it's marketing. You know, you get the gun, you get the hero, you get the skin. V books, you know, everyone, everyone wants so far. Well, it's such a good game, <laughs> especially since it's not going free to play anymore. They need to put it out of this game price, and that's kind of what they've done. And this is what we got. It and 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 fridge reskin. I, I kind of stood a bit there. I, I'm kind of, you know, the motivation to make videos. Yeah, now it's like, it's not there. Especially since like I said I'm trying to get back into it. God, these frames are awful. Uh, I don't know. So well, it's in a weird spot. But you know, I think that's gonna just what I do for this video. There's not much to showcase, especially when it comes to teddy builds. It's not like I can show in different scenarios. I could do a smash test, which I might at the end of the video. But yeah, 53k. That was a crit. I, I don't know if the actual gun goes for headshots. 19k is 39. Okay, I've seen a lot of variety. Here. But it, it's going to be um, higher damage the further they are away because of the distance perk. 40% extra damage up to distance. So I think that's going to do it for this video. If I do end up finding a smasher or a miss monster, I'll put it at the end of the video. But Thanks for watching, like the video, subscribe, and wow, South World is in a shit state. I'm on like 5 FPS. I. See ya. Wait, can I even play that? No, okay. Bye.